What's going on? We back with the boxing clinic and more. Y'all know what it is. Your boy CJ Goodfella told you guys we had some more off-topic videos. And we talk more than boxing. Don't let the name fool you. That's what the M or is for. And y'all know what it is. We back grinding. Talk about some NBA. Um, but yeah, I'm hearing rumors, you know, before we get into this NBA talk that Jamal Charlo got a big announcement. And most people speculating it's Triple G. Um, so we'll have to wait and see. I'm not jumping the gun on this one. I'm waiting till this become factual, concrete. Before I talk on that, but we talking about some NBA today. Of course, we might go live or drop a prediction preview prediction video for this game for, uh, you know, potential sweep of night tonight between the uh, Golden State Warriors and the Cleveland Cavaliers. Um, but I want to talk about all this, all this hatred that Kevin Durant getting, man. And, you know, people quick to forget that LeBron couldn't beat the Boston Celtics and ran over to, to, to the Miami Heat. You know, and people say, well, you know, Kevin Durant ran into a seven and a seventy-two and ten team, and and that was different from LeBron. You know, the Miami Heat team was this and that before LeBron got there. That shit don't matter. It's the same thing. LeBron only difference is LeBron brought motherfuckers with him. He brought Chris Bosh with him, and eventually he brought Ray Allen over. You know what I'm saying? He brought he he made a team. He got him on the phone. D Wade was probably looking to get out of Miami and resign. You know he he had an injured year before that because they weren't winning. So basically he just took the year off. Bosch was a monster in Toronto. People forget that. He was a real monster in Toronto, but people could fit it, forget it because he was in Toronto. That's why. And, you know, they played in the Olympics like the year before that or something like that. And uh, they, they already knew they was getting together going to Miami. See, LeBron wanted them to come to Cleveland, but Chris Bosch said, I wasn't going to no fucking Cleveland. You know, he said that. I'm not going to Cleveland. So we go to beautiful ass Miami, and they went to Miami. And you know what? what's the biggest difference is? The biggest difference is Kevin Durant cut the cake. LeBron couldn't cut the cake. Don't forget that it was Dirk Nowitzki going against three All Stars with a whole bunch of role players. You know, don't forget that Dirk Nowitzki beat LeBron in the finals, and LeBron had help. And you got people putting pictures up of LeBron, you know, beating up on Kevin Durant, and then Kevin Durant coming back with the Golden State Warriors. Oh, don't you don't be quick to forget that LeBron had Wade, Bosh, and the refs in that series. See, I don't forget that. You know, remember the game in the game was it game two when LeBron James hacked blatantly hacked. Kevin Durant across his arm, and the th Thunder would have won that game, one of them games. Yeah, the, the refs helped Miami Heat. People quick to forget that. The, the biggest difference is that Durant got it done, and LeBron didn't. Bosh, Wade, they held the end of the bargain up. LeBron didn't show up versus the uh, Dallas Mavericks. Was, that was 2011. He did not show up. He choked in the finals. People quick to forget that. In the finals before that, he choked against the San Antonio Spurs, and people gave him a pass when he got swept. Well, you know, LeBron didn't have anybody. You know what I'm saying? He didn't have nobody. I mean, I mean, shit, wasn't that the same LeBron that would that score like fucking 50, 60 points and 30 straight points on the Pistons? You know, even though they ain't have Ben Wallace, and people don't believe me when I say that, and I remember everything because the Pistons is my squad. You know? Wasn't that that same guy that had made it all the way through the Eastern Conference and couldn't get a win in the finals? And, oh, the Spurs were just too good, you know what I'm saying? You know? The biggest difference is, people can say, is LeBron didn't get it done. LeBron was the reason the Miami Heat didn't win in 2011. LeBron ball hoggish, selfish ways until it's time to win. He wanted to give it to Wade, give it to Kyrie. Oh, you win the game for me. He'd get you there for the first three quarters. The fourth quarter, when in the championship, when it mattered, he ain't nowhere to be found. Did he, did he check up Kevin Durant? Because Durant was checking his ass up. No, he did not. Oh, Rodney Hood, you take him. Kevin Love, you take him. Now you want to be a team player and let, let other people defend Kevin Durant because you can't defend him. But back to the topic, I told you guys, that's the biggest difference. The biggest difference is Durant is dominating. Durant is winning games. Durant is getting buckets. Durant is defending. Durant is rebounding. He's, a, he's doing the same thing LeBron doing. But you know what? He winning. He clutch. LeBron, 2011, he wasn't clutch versus, my, versus Dallas Mavericks. He let Dirt and Nowitzki beat them by himself, basically. We know Sean Marion did it and Jason Terry did his thing and Kid was past his prime then, and Tyson, Tyson Chandler was defending the paint. We all know that. But it was one all-star in Dirk Nowitzki who wasn't even in his absolute prime. And that's why people mad at Kevin Durant. People was mad at Kevin Durant is because they, he's denying, you know, he's denying LeBron a championship, and they love LeBron. 
Because these are the same people that say, oh, these Golden State uh, Warrior bandwagon. Do you remember who Michael Petras is or Jason Richardson or Monte Ellis? Do you remember who Antoine uh, Jameson was? Oh, you remember who, who Chris Mullins was and the Mitch Richmond and, 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 Tim Hard- and Tim Hardaway Sr.? Do you remember who the... I mean, ain't y'all the same fan base that, that went to Cleveland, went to Miami, and then, and then waited to see LeBron go and went back to Cleveland? And pulled y'all 23 jerseys back out. Ain't that the same ba- same base? They salty, bro. They salty. They want this man to be Jordan so bad and it surpassed Jordan, but he can't. He'll never fade Jordan. Three and six in the finals, he'll go. I mean, you go three and six and, and, and Madden at my crib, you can't come back to 2K come out. You know, you go three and six and Madden, don't come back to my crib talking about playing on Madden. Take your controller and, and take everything with you, man. Take your take your Arizona iced tea. Take it hot and ready that you bought with you. Three and six. You know, you go three and six in my crib for the night. No, nah, no, nah, bro. You know, I don't come back to NBA 2K. Come on, bro. Yo, Madden passes revolt. Three and six. That's not even passing. You wouldn't even graduate. You wouldn't even graduate out of high school. You couldn't even walk across the stage passing three out of six classes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Your senior year. You know, and that's why people mad at Kevin Durant. All that hate Kevin Durant get, he got to remember. He got to just remember. He doing what LeBron couldn't. You know, LeBron created the super team. Imagine Charles Barkley said it. He seen the way the Boston Celtics was digging up in his ass. You know, he said, Man, I can't beat them. I got to get, I got to get Wade and Bosh. You know, I can't win in Cleveland. You know, they're not giving me the tools to win. So I'm going to go create this team in Miami. And then, you know, we're going to dominate and win not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, not seven championships. You know, we ain't going to be beat. And guess what? Got the ass whooped by Dirk Nowinski, bro. Dirk Nowinski, the only all-star. And LeBron crying, he going against three or, three or four all-stars. And Dirk Nowinski whooped both, all y'all ass. Bosh better than, than, than Draymond. And Dwayne Wade is better than Klay Thompson and Steph Curry at the time. What they is right? Steph Curry ain't doing shit in his playoffs. You know, you know, but they had the extra guy, and then they eventually added Ray Allen, and he won that San Antonio Spurs series. He barely won that. And then you remember the San Antonio Spurs series after that, the last one, LeBron was so, oh, I'm cramping. Oh, it's too hot in here. And they talking about he could be a good football player. Get the hell out of here. I'm cramping. And, and, and a young ass Kawhi Leonard, who wasn't even an all star yet, was was clamping his ass down. I ain't never seen Jordan get clamped down other than that Gary Payton supersonic series, and Pippen bailed him out. Nor the team bailed him out. He went like five for eighty-five or something like that. But it happens, you know. But guess what? He won. LeBron didn't. He didn't win versus San Antonio. Ray Allen couldn't pull him out this shit. And what Ray Allen said out of his mouth? He said, "I played against Jordan. I played against LeBron. In with LeBron, that motherfucker, LeBron ain't on that level." And that's what people don't realize. When it's time to win, people forget this shit all the time. Oh, LeBron doing good in round one, two, three. Oh, he's hitting these game winners. But when it comes to winning time in the in, in, in in uh, NBA Finals, when it comes to win, what happened? This motherfucker don't be checking KD in winning time. He want to defer to LeBron James in winning time. I mean, he want to refer to, defer to Kyrie to win the game. You know what I'm saying? You know, people mad, though. Because the media is pushing this agenda to make him better than Jordan. But it, it ain't that way. He don't be on the cover of NBA 2K. We was going to say three and six. And that's the difference. Kevin Durant got the job done when he went to Golden State. He got the job done. He fit right in. And don't say he didn't win shit. He came straight down the floor last year. What was that game? Game three. And put a fucking stake through LeBron knife and shot it right over LeBron. This year again, LeBron had an opportunity to check him. He switched that Rodney Hood to get him. Hey, Kevin Durant said that's about the same spot. Motherfucker, let me let me play a horse and, and call or call a game of ISIS ass. Take took three more feet behind the same spot he shot at last year and put it in Rodney Hood throat. Boom. It was over with. Boy, a killer. You know, people just jealous because they 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 just hopping on the ESPN train and saying, LeBron, LeBron this, LeBron be the first player to make take three dribbles while taking one step backwards in the modern era since 1969. That's that shit don't matter. That shit is curved, dog. That shit is curved. Cause they ain't they ain't physical as they was back in the day. You you let you let Bird, Magic, or Bird, LeBron, Dominic Will not Bird Jordan, Dominic Wilkins playing this league today, they had way better numbers than what the fuck LeBron got. Even when T Mac averaged almost 40 points a game, 
T-Mac might legitimately average 50 in this league. These, these players might, might be better athletes. I'll give you that. That might be better athletes than some of the older players was. But they're not better ball players. They're not well-rounded. They don't have the fundamentals. They're just not fundamentally sound. Like I told people, you know, they still holding out hope. It's still idiot fans out here. Oh, yo, Cleveland going to win four straight. Are you fucking Are you fucking retarded? Are you fucking retarded? Stop being a fan. Open your eyes sometimes, bro. And people before the series, oh, LeBron going to beat them, man. He going to beat them. And then they want to turn around. Oh, they're unbeatable. Oh, oh, this is it. No, no. Didn't you just say the Cavaliers was going to beat the Golden State Warriors? Didn't, you, didn't y'all say that? And what happened? What happened? Beat that ass. And people mad at Durant. LeBron made the same fucking decision. Then added a Ray Allen on top of that motherfucker. Four Hall of Famers. And he went with the, with, the, with, the, with the two other Hall of Famers he went. He went one and two. He added another Hall of Famer. Four of them all together. Future Hall of Famers. He went one and one. Two and two in Miami. People say, Will, Will, Mr. DX Factor told me, Will, at least it was competitive with LeBron, you know, went to Miami. Yeah, it was only competitive because he didn't do what the fuck he was supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? He didn't win. That motherfucker disappeared in four quarters. And he had the help of, help of the reps. Kevin Durant, he showed LeBron what you're supposed to do. And people mad because Durant going to stay with the Golden State Warriors. So what? If, if I'm whooping ass and I'm enjoying, I'm winning championships. And I'm getting a second championship. You think I'm about to go switch teams because cause y'all, cause the league don't like it? No, you got Jerry Dugley and Chris McCollum. I mean, CJ McCollum. Come out saying, oh, I think he should leave. Then I'm, Shut up. What y'all know about winning? What has Jerry Dugley ever won? What has Chris, what's CJ McCollum ever won in Portland? Score 40, 40 but give up 50 points. Shut the hell up. It's always some non-winning motherfuckers that got, got an opinion on some shit. Motherfuckers that sitting at home by the first round. You got swept by the motherfucking Pelicans and you talking. Jerry Dugley, you ain't never been shit. You been on that same bench, you know, with your unathletic ass for about 10 years in the NBA, still in the check. You know, always always a broke motherfucker, always a, a poor, a piss poor player or, or a subpar player. You want to talk shit about what's going on. Nigga, win something first. Get out the first round before you come talk to me. That's why I'm saying Kevin Durant. Y'all mad because I'm getting rings. You man, when LeBron went to Miami, y'all was applauding him. Oh, he beating the system, clapping your hands, you know. But when I when I do it, go to go and say it's an issue. Yeah, they went seven seventy two and ten. Okay. Guess what? Did they win the championship? No. Did the NBA try to play God and suspend Draymond Green to get Cleveland that that momentum? Yup. And they, they never would have did that. Durant never would have went over there. You know, Golden State said, you know what, man? Look, the, the NBA want to cheat and suspend Durant. I mean, suspend Draymond. You know what we gonna do? We're going to get Kevin Durant. They ain't going to win again. Stop hating, man. Stop hating on that man. Appreciate greatness. Appreciate a foot in LeBron ass. Ain't no difference. The, diff- the only difference it is is Kevin Durant got it done. Which I know what it is. It's TBC and more. I'm um, go live a little bit later. So be on the lookout for some live boxing talk. One time for the one time. We go.